I mean, I'm always very proud to stand up for the Green Party policy that trans women are women, trans men are men, and um, non-binary identities exist and are absolutely valid. Um, you know, I will always stand up for that when I think um, it needs to be said. One of the things people might sometimes see, if you look at me sitting in the chamber in the House, what we mostly hear is transphobic messages from very um, uh, far-right voices in the House. And I often sit there thinking, should I react to that? Um, and very often I choose not to react to it because actually by reacting to them, you're giving them some kind of legitimacy. I get You get the same thing with there, is, there are certain members of the House who get up and say, um, well, you know, what went wrong was uh, not having wives subservient to their husbands uh, and taking, I, I did once one of those people really got under my skin and, and, and I had to go back at them. Um, and I realised afterwards that I'd only had four minutes and I spent my whole time reacting to him saying something that was just, you know, ridiculous and stupid. It didn't serve to be reacted to. So I think um, it's really, um, you know, it's a case of standing out there, knowing what you stand for, being prepared to say it whenever it's the right thing to actually say to make sure that you're getting your message out and not amplifying the other side. Um, and that's, that's a tricky balance to strike. Um, and I think that... You know, we have to acknowledge within the Green Party that we are part of society. I mean, when I first joined the Green Party, uh, this will probably horrify and rather surprise lots of people. I joined the Green Party in 2006. And the vast, the first conference or two I went to, the vast majority of the chairs were male. And no one even thought about it or tried to balance it up or thought anything about it. And so I actually ended up chairing, it was 2008, I chaired my first um, Green Party conference session because I'd um, been going around making a fuss about the fact that we should have gender balance in our chairs. Um, and so, of course, uh, <laughs> what happens when one does makes that point is someone says, well, will you chair? And I must admit that I wasn't really terribly well equipped to chair at that point, but I learnt on the job and went there. So I think it's a case of um, we're part of society, we reflect society, we have to make conscious decisions of where we don't want to reflect the way society is. And, you know, there is significant transphobia in society. We need to collectively make the decision that we don't want to accept that in the Green Party, but to also acknowledge that there are some people perhaps, you know, and there is a group of people who just simply are unaware of these issues and don't really know about them and don't engage with them. And so I think we have to make the difference between people who were deliberately choosing to be on that side and people who were simply ignorant and need to be informed about it. And I think you know, transphobia is absolutely unacceptable. Ignorance shouldn't exist, but we can deal with the ignorance and, and inform people and make sure people understand the actual situation. And, you know, the final thing I'd say is that I think there is in society generally you know, a huge witch hunt against uh, trans and non-binary people. You know, that witch hunt is exactly the right word. The kind of fuss that is made um, about people going into certain toilets, about what happens in prisons. And, I mean, it's, you know, the prison argument is really interesting. I was actually in a debate in the... Um, it was a police crime and sentencing bill. Um, and what was interesting is, is we actually had the Tory minister saying prisons now make decisions about where to place each individual prisoner on the basis of a risk assessment for any prisoner of whatever their identity or anything. You, know, pri The officials look at a prisoner, see where they'll be safe, see where they won't be a risk to other people, put them in the right place. And that's right. And, you know, actually what we, that's what happens in prisons and fighting some of the disinformation is really absolutely crucial. Um, and there's a huge amount of disinformation out there and there's a huge witch hunt out there and that really needs to be tackled.